Are you proud? I couldn't be prouder. I just wish we didn't have to celebrate with what's his name. Chris, Chris is a very nice boy, David. He's a very nice boy, David. Plus, he's hot. So, I guess we're adults now. I'm afraid so. <laughs> you ready to start our lives? Yes. Except for the moving back home bit. Why don't you move in with me? It's too soon. Thanks. <laughs> to have her home, graduated, educated, so elated, it does a father proud and makes the sacrifices all worthwhile. It's awesome, Dad. The Gazette is lucky to have you. And so am I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I spoke to the photo editor, and he says you can have an internship there if you want one. Yes, and you can get some shifts back at the clinic for the money until the Gazette's ready to pay. <sighs> Dr. Patel will be happy to see you there again. Thanks, I appreciate it. I'll take the shifts at the clinic until I get a job at a paper. But uh, no Gazette, Dad. I think I want to try for a bigger publication. Elle doesn't need the clinic. A week of pounding the payment. We know how good she is, Chris. Just sometimes a job in hand means something to people who don't have a lot of money. Gift time. <laughs> Thank you. Aww. It's a sister bracelet. It is. It's beautiful. One for you and one for me. We can wear them tomorrow at the beach. Dad made a reservation at the Dusk Motel so we can spend the night. <sighs> God, sweetie, I'm so sorry. I forgot. I, I can't go. I have job interviews tomorrow. Well, can't you just spend one day with your sister? Dad, I will. I promise. Just as soon as I get a job, okay? Yeah, you know, that really was an awesome article you wrote, Mr. Carter. You could, you could write it any paper. I always tell him that. <laughs> well, hey, sir, my father's on the board at Hearst Publishing. You know, Chris, it might surprise you, but I actually like writing for that paper. I get to write what I want, when I want. You're so rude. It's like you hate him. I don't hate Chris. I just wish he'd get his head out of his butt every once in a while, that's all. I'm sorry, Elle. He's just so obsessed with you making it big. You know, there's more to life than just getting your name plastered in every paper across the country. Well, maybe I don't understand your obsession with the status quo. Meaning what? <sighs> Meaning... You could work at any top paper, and yet you choose to slave at a local rag. It's not a rag, Elle. And I happen to like living here. People are normal. They remember what's important in life, like remembering the plans they make with their sister. Dad, I'm sorry. I don't mean to sound... It's just, I want something bigger than all this. And all my friends are... Hey. You're not your friends, Elle. Look, that's where you grew up. It's where your family is, and it's good. If you just look a little closer, you can see that, OK? Glad you're home. are open. Sorry, Al. It's been so long since you slept here. <sighs> Al? I know you might not be, but I'm glad you're home.
Hey, Dad. Got a job yet, kiddo? Uh, ask me again in a couple of minutes. All right, I will. Dad, I'm sorry about... Yeah, me too, Al. You coming home? Uh, no, I'm gonna keep pounding the pavement. And then Chris and I are having a friend over, so I'll probably stay there. You're sleeping over with him? Dad, who do you think I've been with for the last year? Uh, <laughs> look, I'll be home by 10. We'll have brunch, okay? Hell, you be careful in the city. I gotta go. Excuse me. What's this? I saw you interviewed. You said Cafe Elaine's crepes were your favorite. I just graduated and, uh... Youthful exuberance. No depth. Thanks for the crepe. One bite. What can I say? I am attracted to older men. And it's a two-way street. I give them sex, they pay me with approval. Yeah. <laughs> OK. Hello, Dr. Freud. Uh. Hi. <laughs> mm. uh, hey, statistics say Eat it, all different types. And no matter how hard you fight it, you end up marrying your father. Oh, God. Oh, that is not going to be me. Like, love my dad. I like exciting, driven. Great bots, right? <laughs> <laughs> how about some 3M Java to sober us up? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> for me yep. another one? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> okay, no, poor. That's your mission. No, for me to shine. Uh, am I drunk or is Elsa on the milk carton? <laughs> You're drunk. Elsa on my lap. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I'll never get a perm. <laughs> yeah. uh, what are you guys talking about? <gasps> oh my god. That's me. <laughs> mm, creepy. It's your twin. Or it's you. <laughs> Is that what you look like at three? I don't know. <laughs> Haven't you seen pictures? No, no, we lost all of our things in a fire when I was little. <laughs> <laughs> look, say my color. Uh, same hair, please. <laughs> Frizzier, tackier hair. <laughs> Born California, 1987, same year. Yeah, but I was born in July, or so my kidnappers tell me. Yeah. Uh, what's that? <clears throat> Last seen 1990, age three. I think we need to report this. What? Uh, no, no, don't. Why not? It's a 24 hour hotline. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, uh, <laughs> oh my god, is she calling? Can I talk to someone about uh, Sophie Mars already? One moment, please. What do you do? Come on, just for the fun of it. Hello? You do it. What? Um, hello? Yes, hello. Um, I think I found me. Ma'am, can I help you? <laughs> um, yes, I look like the, um, the older, I, I, I look like the older picture on the milk carton. Are you saying you think you've been kidnapped? Uh, no, I, I don't know. Are you from the same area as the child in the picture? Oh, I've always wanted to go to California. Does that count? Ma'am, is this a serious inquiry or are you wasting my time? <laughs> no, yes, <coughs> I, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Keep going. Have you ever seen your birth certificate? No. Have you ever met your grandparents? No. Why not? <laughs> um. Because they all died when I was young. All of them? Yes. <clears throat> Do you know how old you were by the time they died? Uh, almost four, I think. Have you visited their graves? No. 
Has it ever occurred to you how unusual it is to have lost all your grandparents by that age? <laughs> um, not really. No. Ma'am, is there any way you can verify their deaths? <laughs> I, I, I could ask. I'll ask my parents. I'd like to take down your name. <laughs> well, why? If I could have your name, address, and phone number, please. <clears throat> You freaked out. It's not funny. We wasted that poor lady's time. Hey. I'm going to bed. What a buzzkill. Oh, come on now. It was a joke. Go, baby, I'm late for brunch. Those cheap golf balls. Of course, they're cheap. Guys who play good ones never lose them. <laughs> How did my grandparents die? What kind of questions that for a weekend? More? <laughs> I was just curious, you know, because I never met them, any of them. All right. Well, if you must know, it was a stroke, heart attack, heart attack, and emphysema. Nana smoked two packs a day until she died. Where did they die? In a hospital. <laughs> I mean, what state, city? What, do you think we murdered them or something? And granted, there have been moments I wanted to drive an ice pick into your Nana's brain. But... Okay, that's enough. <laughs> okay, could you slice the bagels for me? Thank you so much. Sorry. Can I see my birth certificate? What? I was just wondering if you had it, if I could see it. Elsa, what's going on here? Okay. I know, this is totally silly. Is he? Oh boy. We have to have a talk, Elsa. David. No, let me handle this. We've known this moment was coming for a long time now. Elsa, you were kidnapped. <laughs> Dad, that's not even funny. You are a cruel man, David Carter. Cruel. Scared me. Come on, we we love this girl for twenty two years, and she gives us the third degree like we're a bunch of criminals. I know. Okay, I I just it was weird because when we called in called in we called in the. Milk carton people. Elsa. I, I know, I know it was stupid, but we called it in as a joke, and then... What on earth were you thinking? These people have a hard enough job. Did, did you tell them anything? No, nothing. I mean, I didn't give them my name or anything. Just promise me you're not going to call them again. I, I promise. Dad, I do. Okay. <sighs> this poor girl... Can we at least check it out? Dad. Do we have to? Please. From White Rock, California. Last seen outside her home wearing a sundress. Huh. Sophie has a strawberry-shaped birthmark on her right shoulder. My baby doesn't have a birthmark at all, does she? Hmm? Nope. Look. Your birth certificate and all of our names are on it. Okay. 
pretty stupid, huh? <laughs> yes. <clears throat> and no. Thanks, Dad. Sure. Okay, the doctor will be with you in a minute. Have a seat. Oh, Dr. Patel, can I ask you something? For you? Anything, Miss New Graduate? <laughs> um, this kind of thing, that's like from a vaccine or something, right? Uh, well, vaccines are usually done lower on the shoulder, but I mean, did you ever have stitches or it could be a bug bite or an acne scar? It could be anything, really. Nice shoulder, by the way. What if everything you've always known to be true might not be? I'd probably wig out. Exactly. Oh, close the door all the way, okay? <laughs> you with the door. Hey, do not get me started on all your quirks, okay? Mr. Salt and Pepper Shaker's all lined up. Mm, yeah, but that makes sense. This is nothing, right? It's a little freaky. Somebody called yesterday from the missing kids place. What? Yeah, they were asking questions. Wanted to know your name, your phone number. They're gonna call again. You gotta deal with this. Oh, God. Why don't you just have your parents talk to these people? No, I couldn't. Well, then find out for sure yourself. Do a DNA test or something. <laughs> Chris, they're my parents. This is ridiculous, right? Look me in the eye. Do you have any doubt? Just talk to your dad. And besides, I'm gonna need to know your lineage. You're gonna be my wife someday. <laughs> oh, can somebody just say wife someday? Yeah, maybe somebody did. Mm. Maybe somebody liked hearing it. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe what you were getting us into. Chris said all I have to do is show them my birth certificate. Your birth and certificate. Yeah, it'll only take a second, and Chris, Chris says... Chris does not tell me what I do and I do not do. Well, are you going to give it to me? Are you kidding me? No. Now, you can go. Chris may have time for this nonsense, but I don't. I have work to do. One more time with my CDs. Sorry, Al. I hate it when you and Dad fight. It makes me think you'll move away. Hey. Can't get rid of me that easily. Cross your heart? Hope to croak. And may my iPod? Never be broke. Now pick up my CDs. Borrowing a scrunchie? Okay. Oh, and you found one. Good. I gotta go. Gotta go to work.
Anyone want to do me a favor? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> do you know anyone who could tell me if this person is related to these two people? The lab we use could do a DNA test. What is this, paternity suit? No, <laughs> no baby. Just uh, a friend's biology project. Friend, huh? How accurate is the test? The one-day test will prove with 100% exclusion if the people are not related, and 99% if they are. Oh, great. And when can I get the results? Well, usually it would take 24 hours, but I could put it in with tonight's lab run. So if you check with me before you leave in the morning, maybe it'll be ready. Thank you. You owe me one. Absolutely. You owe me one? Those results? Well, that depends. On what? On whether you go out for coffee with me. <laughs> Dr. Patel. I... Right. I'm really busy this week, too. <laughs> um, <laughs> these two, uh, they are not the biological parents of this individual. What? Yeah, they're not related in any way. And you're absolutely sure? Yeah, 100%. Are you OK? Sorry, but you're not a resident. Oh, my boyfriend, Chris Mayfield. He's in 203. I, I just need oh, to... Oh, you were the ones making all that racket the other night. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Look, I know he's home. He's probably just in the shower or something and can't hear the buzzer. I... Okay, okay, but just this once. Thanks. No, don't. Don't talk to the police. You do, you 
will end up dead. Isabel will end up dead. I promise. <laughs> Look, you will both be killed. Now meet me at the Dusk Hotel in two hours. Eleven o'clock, Al. If you don't do it, I... Looks like you're having a bad day. Wow. Really bad. I didn't do anything, I swear. Hey, I believe you. I do. Sophie. Who are you? Major Jake Farber, DEA. I got Chris's number off the hotline. I've been waiting for you all morning. What do you want from me? Your father, Jerry Fontaine. That's his real name, right? You didn't touch anything in there, did you? I, I only... Look, I'm not asking what happened, all right? But you got, you got blood all over your hands, you got fingerprints all over the apartment. Your only choice is gonna be either going to jail or come with me, all right? Let's go. Keep your head down. After everything I told you, why not just take me in now and let the police decide? Because I know you didn't kill him. How do you know? Oh, come on, do you really think I'd be sitting here with you if I thought you had? You forced David Carter's hand when you responded to our Do You Know Me ad. Your ad? Yeah, the DEA put it out there. But why would my dad kill Chris? Was he curious? Maybe asking a lot of questions? Well, that's all it takes. He could have blown his cover. I want you to take me to Jerry Fontaine. Uh, David Carter. But he's the prime suspect in a case that we've been trying to crack for almost 20 years. A case that involves a lot of money that doesn't belong to him. I can't go to the police. He said that if I do, I'll end up dead. Isabel will end up dead. Well, that's assuming she's still alive. Or well, we can just cut straight to the emotional black now. Look, who do you care most about? Your so-called dad, David Carter? Or little Isabel in the hands of a guy that you and I are both pretty sure murdered your boyfriend? Shift that pretty little brain of yours into gear and give it some thought. I'm supposed to meet him at 11, at a motel we always go to, the Dusk Motel. What kind of place is this? We used to call it our summer secret. Always a vacancy. Call him, see if he's still there. Went straight to voicemail. Call his motel. Yeah, hi, uh, this is Agent Jake Farber. Uh, has a David Carter checked in? Your old man already checked out. She said he seems really nervous. He didn't wait for me. Where else would he have gone? Think. I don't know, I don't Bull. know. Come on, think. I don't know, I don't know where they could have gone. Maybe I should just turn you over to the cops up there, huh? Do you remember what David Carter said that you'd do to Isabel if you got a hold of the police? You should believe him. Ocean Shore. What's an Ocean Shore? One of my dad's has a sort of cabin there. Find it. Seatbelt on. I have to pee. Hold it. Nice. Look, we either stop or I'm pissing in your car. It's your choice. Okay, okay, okay. I'm 
coming with you. Suit yourself. Bathroom. What are you gonna watch? Okay, okay. Make it quick. California it is. Screw the other case. You're down there. I'm not going after her alone. We had an agreement. Lashley. Lashley! Dude, this is the break we've been waiting for, man, since Tijuana. Meet me in San Diego. Now get... Call me when you're close. Well, it's not. Elsa, I'm Alec Rooker. Even Carter sent me.
got there too late. Yeah, I missed her. Well, damn it, then you gotta go to San Francisco. I got the address in the article you faxed me. She's gonna try to find Joe. You better get to her first. Uh-huh. Go in there next. Hi, uh, same to you. Uh, I was I was wondering if you um, knew or uh, ever knew anyone named Marceretti. Marceretti, do you mean Tina? Yes, uh, it, Tina Marceretti. She's Tina Basile now. She took back her maiden name after the divorce. Tina was one we couldn't heal. D did she die? She just never found the light. Uh, thanks. Uh, any idea where I could find her? Last I heard, she moved north of here to Gilroy. Thanks. City and state, please. Gilroy, California. Uh, Tina Basil. What's your next move? Mommy or daddy? What do you got? Joe Maserati's info. This is a man that did not want to be found. Hidden under a slew of aliases. He's Joe Drescott now. Chief of staff of the Kento Senator campaign in San Fran. Joe Maserati. From drug trafficking to politics, huh? <laughs> Bet the future senator wouldn't be too happy if he found out about his chief of staff's past. Why don't we uh, tip off the press? Consider it done. That'll make him sweat. So we can go after Joe even with all the aliases? Daddy it is.
I'm so tired, Frank. <clears throat> uh, it's not Frank. I'm Sophie. in the way of breakfast. nice. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, I was. Yeah. You would have been all I had after your brothers were gone. My brothers? Nick. Nick. And Luke. What happened? Joe happened. This happened. It took them both. Dead in jail. Both gone. This, this is Adam. Uh, this is. Um, this is Joe, your father, okay? and our crew, Jerry, and. Angela Fontaine, Jerry was Joe's partner, some damn partner. <laughs> Did they raise you? Yeah. Why did they take me? Please. I need to know what happened all those years ago. Oh, God, I need to know what... Happened all those years ago. You were there. Your father was there. Why did the Fontaines take me? Your father knows. Which father? Hey, that's a good question. Um, which one of those has the right to call himself? You know, he try he tries to buy me. He thinks he's God because he has all this money. Here, look at that. I know it's blood money, so I don't take it. I won't take it. Who? Mm. Oh. Shh. Shh. Everyone's listening to everything we say. Watching us day and night. Mm. I won't. <laughs> Somebody that I love is in trouble. And to find her, you have to tell me what happened. <gasps> tell me about the Fontaines. The eggs are cracking. Look, look over there. 
I'm looking for Joe Dresscott. Mr. Dresscott isn't here today. Can you tell me where I can find him? Before you blow me off, I think it's only fair to tell you that I'm family, that have recently graduated, and that an entry-level position at a company like this, say, as a receptionist, like yourself, might be ideal. A vacancy is permitting, of course. Scott bought favors from law enforcement officials in Mexico to get off drug charges? Those accusations are completely groundless, and I'll have a statement tomorrow. Sir, come November, I'll be steering this great state of ours into a new era of prosperity. In the meantime, I've got to get upstairs to the banquet to bore the people who forked over $2,000 a plate for a piece of fish. Now, now that's a genuine scandal. Thank you. Joe. 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 It's me. Sophie. Sophie. I need to talk to you. Come up to the banquet with us. Scott, it's all right. Questions? Yeah, it's Scott, all right. Uh, sorry, guys. Questions? She's part of the campaign. Uh, I'll be up in one second. We charged in Mexico. You can't be here. What? You have to go now. Nice to meet you too, Dad. How did you find me? Did Jerry send you? No. Then how did you find me? Look, I found you, okay? My dad, he took my sister, Isabel. She's in trouble. I need your help. I can't help you. I'm sure you know more than I do. The DEA put it out. The DEA? A guy called Farber. Agent Jake Farber. I'm wanted for a murder in Seattle. My boyfriend, Chris Mayfield. 
What do you want from me? I need your help to find my sister. I can't go to the police. I have nowhere else to turn. I can't get involved in this. I am in the middle of the biggest thing. That... I have been out of your life for 19 years, and as far as I know, you never came looking. If that's how you want it, fine. Oh, you know what? I met some great reporters who would take me in. Maybe while I'm with them, I could tell them all about my amazing dad. Okay. But only one night, and you have to lay low, stay off the press's radar. Here's my address. I'll be there in a couple of hours. I can't go outside. There's a guy following me. I'll call down to our driver, meet him in the VIP garage. Remember, one night. Who's putting them up to this? It, it's OK, Donald. It's nothing. Nothing is nothing to them right now. Let me tell you something. They're going to look under every rock, and they're going to try to find a way to screw me. Donald, they won't find anything. You're going to tell me who that was? Uh, she and I, we, um, last year, she was the distraction I told you about. She didn't even look old enough to vote this year. Now, man, this great state has been waiting for anything that attracts attention to us is a problem i don't care who she is i want her gone by tonight ah very sexy nice hair thanks it's all uh very impressive huh but uh like my mom used to say, where there's money, there's blood. What do you mean? Look, Joe started his career off by smuggling dope in from Mexico. The public's just now finding out about it, all right? So you need to come with me. Because nothing good's going to come out of hanging with Daddy. <sighs> it's you or Daddy. And the last I saw you, you were going to dump me with the cops, and I was going to spend about a lifetime in jail. So no offense, but I think Joe is my best shot for finding Isabel at the moment. Don't be stupid, all right? But he's not going to help you. Only I can do that, but I need you to work with me. I already told you. I don't know where they are, and you're hurting me. Wow. Are you Sophie? Everything OK? Dandy. You got to tomorrow, all right? So put your thinking cap on. I'm doing you a favor, all right? Call me.
me? Sophie? Necesito saber si es salió libre antes de cumplir su libertad condicional, eh, buen comportamiento o lo que sea. No puedo dar esa información. Usted puede hacer una petición a través de un abogado mexicano, pero eso tardará algunos días. Para su protección, el presidiario será notificado de tales investigaciones. His protection. Yeah, right. Leave. Yeah, I know. You made that perfectly clear yesterday. You should get dressed. I'll be right back. You idiot. The feds want this girl for killing her damn boyfriend. Who is she? Why does she show up at one of my fundraisers on the day all this comes down? I, I know, Donald. I... She's my daughter. You... What are you thinking? Are, are you nuts? Now, Donald, please. Who are you, Joe? All these rumors. Somebody wants to put a stake through your heart, and I am not going to be brought down with you. She's my daughter, Donald. What do you expect me to do? You make her go away. You understand me? Or I will. I'll take care of it. Okay, look, um, I'm gonna have a quick bite. Why don't you fill up before you leave? Really? I make the best eggs inside of San Francisco. <sighs> you must be starving after all you've been through. Yeah, I am kind of hungry. Uh, you want to grab a couple of plates? They're up top here. Sure. Strawberry shortcake. What? I used to call you my little strawberry shortcake because your birthmark looked like a strawberry. Sophie, get out. Get as far away from here as possible. What? You heard me. I I'm sorry, but... I thought you were going to help me. You have to leave now. There are a lot of people after you. It's too risky. But you haven't told me anything. There are woods beyond the vineyards. Just go. Don't come back. I'm helping you, I promise. I need to make a call. Take my cell. Destroy it when you're finished. Too many numbers. Now go! I need your help.
Fred Lashley, San Diego DA. Sorry about all the drama in your life. I guess uh, it's going to get worse before it gets better. Huh? <laughs> Chip. No. Well, misery loves company. I mean, my wife totally taking me to the cleaners right now. Shut the hell up. Somebody you know back there? Yeah, it's Rooker. Said David Carter sent him. <laughs> well, isn't that perfect? You sure it's one of Carter's guys? That's what he said. Come on, how else am I gonna find Isabel? Got it. Alec Rooker. He's got a sheet a mile long. If Rooker takes the bait, then I mean, he can lead us straight to Carter. You really up for this? I want my sister. And we want Carter. Transmitter emits a GPS signal. I can lose you, so don't worry. I'm gonna turn in. You look out for her on the night shift. I will take over in the AM. And then it's all systems go. Sleep well, kittens. Daddy's in the next room. Where am I sleeping? You really didn't fight to be with me today. Who? So, I thought that when I found him, that it would fix everything. Me and my long lost father would walk off happily into the sunset. Yeah, well, from my experience, family never has a happy ending. And my stepdad, He's the same as your dad. He wouldn't fight for me if his life depended on it. <laughs> Jerk. But you turned out okay. You think? <laughs> yeah. Thanks. I'm gonna go to the first shower. Still got her. We're lucky you didn't zap her GPS, man. It'll be over soon. Uh.
lie still. I'm gonna make a phone call and it's all gonna be worked out, okay? There's nothing to worry about, I swear. Hello? Carter, I have her. Good. She's not coming easily. Why not? I had to sedate her a little. Why on earth? She's afraid of you, okay? You gotta talk to her. Calm her down, man. Make her trust me. No, she won't trust me. <laughs> Yeah! All right, I'm call the okay. DEA and get the address, all right? <laughs> My sister's getting on it. What? Hey. occupation there, fella. Uh, How would I make it up to you? Say 50 bucks. 50? Uh, All right, it's got to be right now, though. Yeah, hold on. lying to you. Carter's gonna have you killed. Come on, you gotta come with me. Look, we, uh, we tracked Carter's number. We're just waiting for his address, all right? So we can find Isabel. That's the plan, senorita. Why don't you just lay back there and get yourself some sleep? You look like you could use some. I gotta stop and make another call. Why are we stopping? This is where we're meeting Jerry. I mean, uh, David Carter. Here? Yeah, we're gonna go check it out. You stay put. Come on, let's go. Sophie. Oh, thank God. Thank God. What are you doing here? Agent Farber called, said you needed my help. I'm not going to let you down again. I'm so sorry. I wouldn't have put money in you actually showing up. Are you actually doing something for one of your kids for once? Who is that? That man's voice changes a lot after 19 years. 19 years as a gringo in a Mexican lockup. Please, Luke. The hole that your own stepdad put you into. You don't have to do this. Hi, sis. They raped me the first day I was in there. But you knew that would happen, didn't you, Dad? When you made your deal with the Federales. I was 18 years old and you sold me out. I was a kid! I was your kid, you scumbag! No, Luke, I, I, I know... No! No! You don't get to explain! I... No! Then all that Nick died. Montaigne! Shut up, you liar! No! 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 What the hell are you doing? This, this was about the money. No one was supposed to get hurt. Give me the damn gun, okay? I'm God now. No! I'm gonna tell you crazy. Come on! Did you get Carter's address? Yeah, uh, she's, uh, uh, 20 Bay, uh, 
Bay Creek Road, uh, Haley, Idaho. Jake, come on, give me the damn gun, man. But I don't need you anymore. What? Like, I appreciate the DEA ID. But there's no way I'm splitting my money with anybody 50-50. <laughs> You doing all right back there, muchacha? Look kind of hot all tied up like that. <laughs> oh, come on, you'll learn to like me, I swear. <laughs> Especially after tomorrow when I've got all that disposable income. Yeah, I knew your so-called father Carter wouldn't touch a penny of that money unless he thought it was an emergency. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess his little trip to the bank proved that, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, now it's payday for me and payback time for everybody else. The second I was released, I'd actually put out that ad. Been thinking about this day for the last 20 years. So far, huh, turned out a little bit better than I expected it to. But you know, I think that's because of you, sweet little thing. Oh, come on, don't be creeped out. Probably not your type anyway. Probably like those preppy boys, huh? Well, you're gonna have to start over now. Chris's history, huh? Yeah, Chrissy, Chrissy, Chrissy. But I had to kill him. Help draw you to me. Too much caffeine. I'll be back in about three minutes. Be a good girl.
Oh, God. Oh. How's Izzy? She's fine. Sweetheart. Oh, Sweetie. You good? We have to get out of here now. All what? of us. He's here. Who? My brother. He killed Chris. Luke, what happened to Rooker, the guy I sent to get to you? She killed him too, Dad. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Get in the car. Let's go. I was young and stupid. It was just supposed to be a money laundering thing in Mexico. I had no idea about the drug sideline that Joe and Luke had gone. Not till that day at the border, anyway. There were more cops and dogs than usual. Joe panicked. He wanted Luke to force you and your brother to carry it. Swallow the bag. Cocaine. Nick. One of the bags burst inside him. DOD. I got you out of there before Luke could do the same thing to you. Look, when Chris was killed, we panicked. We just assumed it was Luke. We, we just did what we had to do to make us all safe. We gotta get Izzy and Nana, and then we're gonna go to Chicago. I know some people. Nana? My mother, your grandmother. They would have found us through her, so we had to leave. Oh, my God, you both give up so much for me. Well, you're our daughter, so. I love you, baby. Is up the stairs, first door on the left. Mom, Is. we're here. Say a word. Please don't hurt us. David, she's not here. Elle? David, be careful. See, Angie. Hi, Jerry. You know, we would have been perfectly fine at the Mexican border if you just left me alone. Screw you. Where is it, Jerry? Where's Isabel? Where's Anna's mom? You're lucky. I didn't have the heart to kill the defense old lady. And the girl? She's okay. For now, she's my insurance to your good behavior. But if you don't tell me where it is, I swear to God, I'm gonna let her have it now. For God's sakes, tell him. It's in the kitchen under the sink near the pantry. Uh, Progress. Uh, oh, uh, shut up. Uh, you guys stay right there. I've killed the kid before. I'll do it again. She'll shoot her. Do it! Open it! Open it! <laughs> Give it to me. Give it to me! Go! Go. Run, baby! Run!
damn hands off her! Brother. Family. 